Okay, here I am. I have a demonstration file open for you in Affinity Designer. I've made all the changes that I want. I make sure I have a calibration, something that I can calibrate my projector to just to make sure that it is in accurate scale and size. If there's not one on your pattern already, go ahead and feel free to draw a rectangle. Um, there's no particular size you need to draw it, but larger than two inches by two inches is recommended. I'll sometimes draw something like 10 by 10 or 10 by 16, something that's a little bit bigger. Then make sure you have the layers on that you want. If there are certain layers that you don't want, you can turn them off, but if you export it just as this, Affinity Designer will export the layers so you can turn them on or off in the program that you need. So there's really no need to delete them or hide them or do anything like that because you can do that as you're projecting. So when your file is ready to export, you can just come right up to File and Export. And you can click here and choose the file type. We're going to be choosing PDF. And you can choose a preset, it just changes some of the things down here. It doesn't really make a difference for sewing between each of these. For print, one is a little bit smaller than the digital size. You can choose that, but since we're just doing vector images, it doesn't really make a huge difference. If you want to check down towards the bottom, make sure include layers is checked. That is a default that it will check that. But if you exported it and it didn't export your layers, just come down and make sure that that include layers was included when you export. Now you are ready, just come down to here and we're going to go ahead and press export. It's going to come up. You're going to choose where you're going to save it on your computer and where you want to save it and how you want to name it. We're just going to click save and it will usually automatically open up in a PDF reader on your computer by default. I have Adobe Acrobat installed. It will open it up and we can go ahead and take a quick look at it just to make sure that it has exported exactly how we want it to. And there's my pattern. I can come over to the layers. I can turn them on and off just like you are used to. And you can also go ahead and close this out and open it up in a program of your choice, such as Project and Cut, PatternProjector.com, or even up upload it to your Ditto app. Thank you for joining me today on exporting a PDF pattern using Affinity Designer.